part two. I accidentally hit stop, but yeah, the fit is cute. I'm gonna get on the subway and just get out of Brooklyn. A friend invited me to the grand opening of his comedy show, a uh, comedy club, his grand opening of his comedy club tonight. I'm in Brooklyn. The comedy club is um, in Queens, like the east side. Take like an hour and 17 from where I currently am. And then from there, when I left that bar, it would be um, Why did everyone keep asking me if I was gonna perform? What was that? I don't know. And like, it was, there was some weird vibes. Like this, anyway, it would take a while to get up to Bayside, Queens. Um, so probably just gonna head straight home, but no, back to what I was thinking about. Like, it's the little things where people come up to you and talk about you. Or like, it's just all organized. It's very sophisticated. Like they literally sit and plot. They think about it because, um, the first guy that went up and spit some bars, he like did a great job. And so I went up and introduced myself to him. Um, I love networking events. They're like the best. So all you have to do is go up and talk and introduce yourself and smile. And people generally have a good time, except for tonight would have ended in gunshots. Scratch that. So, you know, I was like noticing that this guy was coming up and talking to me. Oh no, no, that he was telling me, showing me how to spell my name like right in front of me and I was like I was like because I just told he's like we're doing the insta thing and then I was like Kimberly and he spelt it correct a hundred percent and nobody ever guesses that so I was like all right <laughs> that's cool <laughs> um and then like when we were outside the guy was like youtuber youtuber and then I was like I like and then like introduce introduce and then like as like I don't know these people are like either like really in on it or like dedicated to introducing each other to other people but how did that guy know how to spell my name perfect and then how did they know that I've been YouTubing I mean I guess people could see it but it doesn't really seem like it's known you know <laughs> like other channels um, so, kind of confused on how he was so, like, YouTuber, YouTuber, and he was introducing me into, like, that we, like, instead of Insta, because almost everyone always says Insta, and so I was like, why? And then he, like, kind of looked at me, like, he was honestly, like, waiting for the moment to introduce me, so, um, I think I was looking at her when we first came in, because, because certain people stick out to you, you know? Um, <laughs> Brooklyn. Um... Um, I just like other people have other YouTube channels, but um, I'm just kind of surprised if they like know about it or something. Because he kept saying YouTuber, YouTuber, and I was like, okay, like cool, like word. Um, but it felt good, you know what though? Like that first guy that totally spelt my name correctly, he started asking questions. Well, have you gotten to the part where you like? write a song completely yet, like you have a verse, you have a hook, have you done that part of it? Um, um, and I was like, I had to think about it because I never realized, but I, I, yeah, I like, I do have like, but I didn't, I, I don't know if I was that organized about it the way he was referring to, so I was like, I don't know. And I was literally like thinking about this shit for the first time, this stuff. Um, and then he literally, it was pretty funny. He like literally like laughed in my face and then spun around on his heel and walked away. And I was like, word, <laughs> this is progress at least. Like coming to an event and discussing my art because you know what happened before that? I told him as I was introducing myself that I've been trying to come out of my comfort zone. So none of those conversations would have happened if I hadn't have gone to the networking event. These cute ass heels, you guys. <laughs> Yeah, Brooklyn. So, you know, um, that was a bit, I had a feeling that there was gonna be a fight. Good thing I went outside, dude. 
I listen. I listen to my inner tuition. <laughs> my inner tuition. So, just gonna go home and make pasta now. That'll be fun. Get that Parmesan cheese. I made sure at the grocery store I got the, like, the big cut flakes. The big, big cut flakes of Parmesan cheese. And Um, I got like vodka sauce, you know, vodka, prego, um, pasta sauce, yeah. Um, and tomatoes and avocados. Um, and I think a Coca Cola. So, should be a good time when I get home. Um, I'll post the first video, but yeah, this is the this is the fit. So I'm telling you guys, my dad always taught me wear shoes you can run away in. Um, well, maybe he didn't say it like that, but he always said be like wear shoes that you can run in in case anything happens. Like he always used the example of an earthquake. Like it's good in case something happens that like you have good um, shoe wear. So yeah, honestly, I mean, at least I went out and had a experience um you know i mean all of that was still progress like going up to a guy an artist who like literally just performed like actual awesome bars um like really really like came from his heart and I told him it was like came from his heart and i was like that was beautiful um like oh shit that uh he laughed in my face that's still progress that's progress. Um, I'm not, because I'm like, I'm, I'm going up and having a conversation and introducing myself. That's why I love networking events. Like, the best. Super rewarding if you can just kind of get over that part of like introducing yourself. Um, and not being attached to the outcome is generally how I feel about like social interactions like that. Because um, people will remember how you, how you made them feel type of thing. Um, and then we're always connected or whatever through Insta, but... Some of those girls performing were amazing. Oh my gosh. And the guys too, like totally. That was my first event like that though. They had like a big screen up, put up in the back. And I was like, are they gonna play a movie? Um, maybe it was gonna be played later, but it was called Rob the Pastor. So I was like, huh, that's interesting. Um, but you know, that's kind of how things go I think everyone was like warming up and having a good time they had some stuff like problems with techie tech technical stuff um so maybe that was part of it actually now that I think about it um but other than that and it ending in gunshots it went totally well I think um it was a lot of fun and I got really good experience um just meeting other artists and musicians in Brooklyn like and I mean models and nail techs um cutie patooties everyone was cutie patootie literally everyone, ev there was not one unattractive person in that room you know what I'm saying like everyone brought their own individuality that's why I love these events like just everyone's showing up as an artist that's why I love open mics because everyone's bringing their own swag yo so stoked I know that that was a little scary at the exit there but I'm here safe where there's plenty of other people um, about to go back. It'll be fine. Um, be 100% fine. Um, I showed people my art. I'll show you, I'll show you guys, um, really quick. I'm not gonna go on the subway. Call it a night. But I told them that I liked the, this one because it says outcast and that's what I felt like tonight. I was the only white woman in the room. There were, wasn't one Asian chick and one white male. Everyone else was black and Latino. But mostly African American, yeah, for sure. Um, anyway, the guy said that he liked all of the different um, shapes. Like he said right there that he liked that part. So he'll like it, you know. I can totally sell this. I've sold my art before. I just, he's, it needs to be presented right. And they asked me, what do you do? And I literally never know what to say when people ask me that um because <laughs> I like 
literally have every hobby written down in the book like of interest to me basically it seems like sometimes um but I just had like actress comedian storyteller writer um music producer entertainer like I just I I know I was going to a networking event so maybe I should have thought about what what I was going to say when people ask me what do you do but I literally I've never really been good at answering that question because I don't fit into a box and so I don't even like trying like <clears throat> I could tell people that I'm an artist. Like, actually, I'll tell you guys something really cool that just came to mind. Um, <clears throat> okay. Um, before, right as I came to New York, um, blah, 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 blah. right as I came to New York, uh huh. Um, right as I got here at least, um, Trennis Henderson had this video on what happens if you just stare at yourself in the mirror for like 10 minutes. And I ended up doing that and I asked myself three questions. Um, what do you want? What do you need? And what do you aspire to be? And, um, it came naturally. Um, it was beautiful. Like it really is a really cool, cool, cool experience to connect with yourself. If you just like keep that eye contact, because you've never, you know, do that before. You just take photos, so you see moments of yourself. But if you were to love yourself as so much as you love somebody else that's standing 3D in front of you, you can practice this by standing in front of a mirror and looking into it for at least 10 minutes, um, or however long it takes for you to like tap into the spirituality of seeing yourself because we often are so hard on ourselves, we don't see how precious individually we are, every single one of us. And so I, I answered, I need, um, I believe this out when I said, um, I need to, need to write. Um, I want love or community, something like that. Um, I remember it was, yeah, writing, like I need to love and I need to, I need community. Um, or I want love too, or I want community, one of those things. Um, I asked myself, what do you need, what do you want, and what do you aspire to be? And in the mirror, on the third question to myself, I answered that, like in my head, you know. Um, it's, it's a meditative practice. It may feel a little funny at first, but I really encourage everyone to give it a shot, just seven to ten minutes. And the third question I answered, what do you aspire to be, was the artist. Maybe we'll do more storytelling when I get home um, where that first came from, um, being the artist and that, that idea in my mind um, on this journey that I've been on. So anyway, crazy night. <laughs> it was a lot of fun, um, but crazy night at the end there. It was super lax. Everyone was chilling. Everyone should just ate some food. They would have relaxed. There was like good looking food. I just like wanted to go home and make my own pasta. Um, so... Stay tuned for whatever comes next. Love the fit. Look at this fit. Um, pray for safety and pray for... Um, let's pray right now, actually. Dearly Jesus, thank you so much for this evening. Thank you for this time. Um, you guys can go look at Brooklyn well. Well, we do a prayer. Dearly Jesus, thank you so much for this time. Thank you for this day. Um, we want to thank you for the protection and safety that you offered tonight um, to me um, and gave me the intuition of what was going on um, to an extent, Lord, and gave me the ability to get out of there. And Lord, I pray um, also that anyone that was hurt tonight is um, rehabilitated to the utmost and sincerest care in the medical um, and, and given great decisions by the medical professionals tonight, Lord, and that you just take care of them. Um, and bring them back to um, their love and light to you, Jesus. Um, and that um, if it was uh, the worst case scenario and somebody passed away, Lord, I pray that um, you be with that family in advance, Lord, and that they are coming to you and that they knew you and loved you. And Lord, if not, that you offer them a second chance because tonight was so much fun. Um, and I don't understand why it went down like that, Lord Jesus. So I pray um, in any, in either case or scenario that they end up with you, God, um, whoever that gunshot was, 
against um, if it did even hit anybody. Like, we don't know the facts. But if anyone was hurt or injured, Lord, that's the prayer we're doing tonight. Bring them back to safety and healing and protection. Um, calling on Archangel Raphael in order to do so. And um, Archangel um, Uriel. And Mo... Trato? I forget. Motrino? No, that's a Latin word. That's or that's Latin. Um, Matron. Matron. I think it's something like that. Archangel Matron, Lord. Anyway, you know what I'm saying? Like, these archangels that are surrounding us and protecting us, Lord, at all times, we thank you um, for introducing and bringing them into our lives, Lord, um, as they heal completely, um, especially from... Uh, feedback that I've gotten from my friend that her lung has been healed and um, that our best friend and that she hasn't been able to have like a full intake of, of breath since she was little so this is like a complete new healing time for her and I pray that that um, amazing turnaround in 180 happens for anyone else who's hearing this message right now Lord and we pray that we get home safe everyone that's hearing this message or you get to your next destination safely and we pray um for any of the acts that were done tonight out of evil, Lord, that you cast out those demons that were in whoever, in, in all the bodies that were in, um, brought in, embroiled into um, the violence tonight, Lord, that you cast out all those demons um, and bring all those individuals to safety and peace into your love, Lord, um, as you designed us to be in your, um, an image in your... Um, that we are in, in, in love, that we are a version of an image. We are made in God's image. That took forever. Um, we are made in God's image, Lord. And so um, you obviously wouldn't want to see us being violent um, with each other. And I pray that everyone is um, able to have a good night's sleep tonight. And um, honestly, just feel peace of mind. Um, and that we are um, also reminded of... Um, um, the blessing and opportunity and um, opportunity is just to have a life and to be able to live so and be healthy and safe um, and in your love God so thank you Jesus so, for everything that you've given us and we want to thank you again for um, going through this tribulation so that it brings us closer to you and makes us realize just how precious life is on earth and that we bring safety and healing to every single person that um, was injured tonight and or um, psychologically affected, Lord, that you bring um, total tranquility and peace of mind um, to our mentality. Um, and that we can just um, wake up tomorrow and um, be able to take charge of the brand new day um, and put this behind us because, Lord, we know that um, in your verses that you've written that there is enough trouble for today. Let's not worry about tomorrow. So, Lord, I pray for that verse to be applied tomorrow. Um, also, want to thank all my YouTubers that have inspired me. Um, the Elect of God, GJ. Um, I haven't checked out Mark the Messenger yet. Um, Trennis Henderson, of course. Um, and New Breed. Lord, thank you for all these um, other uh, messages that are coming from um, those greatly talented individuals as um, it's bringing so so much clarity to my own life um, in learning how to understand and love you, Jesus. So once again, we want to thank you for hearing this prayer, and we love you all so much. In your name we pray, amen.